Imagine dear friends that God breathes love through the universe at all times. This love is meant to flow to you, within you and through you. If you do not love yourself, you block this breath. If you don't receive gifts of love from another that resonate with you, you block this breath. If you feel loving towards another, even a stranger, and do not share it in some way, you block this breath. And whenever energy is blocked, pain, stagnation, and disease result in life and sometimes even in the body. You were created to be living incarnations of love. This is what is meant by the phrase that you are created in the image and likeness of God. You were not created in the form of a human looking God. You are the human forms created as an image of the loving presence of God. You were designed to allow love to flow to you, within you, and through you. You are here upon the earth to remember this indelible connection with the loving source that creates you with each breath. You are meant to receive, embody, and share love. In practical terms, this can be practiced quite simply. When someone gives you a genuine compliment, breathe it in. Receive it. Say thank you and share the love back. If someone offers to help you and you feel it is genuine and you need the help, don't refuse it. Say thank you. Bless the giver by being a grateful recipient. We are not suggesting you receive gifts offered with strings attached, if that is what you feel. We are not saying you must receive everything offered. However, so many times you are offered help or assistance and because of fear, pride, lack of self-worth or other artificial reasons, you decline. And then dear ones, you cry unto the heavens and ask us why you must manage life all alone. We love you. You were never meant to handle life alone, but you must use your free will to be willing to believe we can send you help, and then to receive. In practical terms this also means that when you have the impulse to love, please do. When you have the impulse to say something kind to someone, do so. When you have the impulse to joyously help or give, do so. We remind you that only when you have the impulse to joyously give, should you give. Giving out of duty, pity, or a sense that you have to, in order to be a good person, is not really giving from love at all. Giving from joy is allowing the breath of God to flow through you, knowing the time, energy, and resources will be there. Giving from duty is drawing from the energy within you alone, and you will eventually burn out if you insist on doing so. Let the breath of God flow to you, within you, and through you. Do not block the flow of genuine love in your lives. This is the love that does not have to be manufactured by your ego. It does not have to be forced. You do not have to try to feel this love. It is naturally there. When you naturally want to receive or naturally want to give, this is diving love, beckoning you to become one with it, to let it flow and to partake of its blessings. Just as a river nourishes all that grows along its channel, this love, real love, nourishes you even as it flows through your heart and your life.